Hey guys, Seven WWE Rocks here, <clears throat> here to do my Survivor Series 2014 predictions. And just looking at the card, before I get into the predictions, looking at the card, it's only five matches on here. Now, I don't know if I just found, if I found a predictions card where it, it you know, they didn't incorporate SmackDown, which is being shown right now, which of course I'm not watching. But, um, so I don't know if another match is going to be added, but five matches, two of them are Divas matches. I honestly... Don't see how that's possible. I just, I, like, there's only one singles match on here besides the Divas title match. So, I honestly, I see, if, if I got something wrong, I don't know. But I see a lot of uh, matches being added. Maybe two, to be honest, two that just happened right there from a promo or something. But let's get right into this. We're going to start off with the kickoff show. Apparently, Bad News Barrett is supposed to return. Now, I don't know if that's just him returning, just talking about... Being on the kickoff uh, panel with um, Booger T and the others, I forget who's all going to be there. But um, let's just say he does fight, which I, I honestly don't know. WWE, when they tweeted it, they made it sound like he was fighting. They were like saying, he returns, be sure to watch it on the kickoff show. I, I, I don't know why they would be saving it for the kickoff show, but um, let's say he does fight. Whoever he will fight, he's going to get the win no matter what. So yeah, I, I sorry, I, I really don't know much. But um, moving on to the actual matches on the card. Here we go. <clears throat> For the tag team championships, the defending champions, Gold Dust and Stardust versus the Usos versus Los Matadores versus Miz Dow and the Miz. Now, I I see, you know, I I very well could see the gold uh the Dust Brothers, that's what I call them, the Dust Brothers retaining because uh, I just you know, WWE always keeps guys having the belts and you you think somebody else is gonna win and they just have this long reign. But I just think the money is with Miz, Dow, and Miz. Like, I think if they won the Tag Team Championships, it, you know, they're so, I think they're so, like, on top right now because Miz, Dow is so over. I think it would be stupid not to have them win the Tag Team Championships. And um, I just I just think, you know, Los Matadores, no, that'd be stupid if they won. Usos, I mean, what was the point if they were just going to win them back? Dust Brothers, I could see winning, but I'm going to go with Miz Dow and Miz on this one <clears throat> because I just think there's money with them. They're so over. I think they, they well, Miz Dow's over, but I think it'd just be so funny to have them with the belts. They have the same belts now, so they can mimic each other, and I just think it'd be great. After that, AJ Lee versus Nikki Bella. Apparently, I, I'm guessing Brie Bella, her uh, 30 days as her servant is uh, up tonight, but... Uh, I'm gonna go with the twist. I hear a lot of these AJ Lee is ru is leaving rumors. Some some are saying no, she's not leaving. Others saying yeah, she's done after Survivor Series. But it hates it hates for me to say this, but I'm gonna go with Nikki Bella. Let's just say Brie turns heel and helps her out in the end. Like how crazy would that be? And uh, we got the heel Bellas back. But um, let's go with Nikki Bella. Well, that's uh, I'm probably gonna get screwed. AJ's probably gonna win, but still. Nikki Bell, I'm going to go with. <clears throat> After this, we have a Survivor Series uh, match with the Total Divas. Natalia, Emma, Naomi, and Alicia Fox versus Paige, Summer Rae, Layla, and Cameron. Um, I don't really care. No, but seriously, I, I just feel like these the for Divas Survivor Series, I remember the eliminations go so fast. So I, I see this match being like eight minutes. And I'm going to go with <clears throat> the, heel, I'm, the heels. I'm going to go with Paige, Summer Rae, Layla, and Cameron. Moving on, Bray Wyatt versus Ambrose. <clears throat> now, this match was hard. This match is hard to predict because I think both guys deserve a win. So, <clears throat> but it's really tough. I mean, I think uh, they're, they're redoing Bray Wyatt, but Ambrose is really hot right now. So I, I, I don't know, man. That's a tough one. I, I'm gonna go with Bray to be honest. I'm gonna go with Bray Wyatt. I think Ambrose's sh losing streak will probably continue. I th I think both deserve a win. I, I really wish like somehow both would get the win or something, but I'm gonna go with Bray Wyatt on that one. Moving on, the main event: Team Cena versus the Team Authority. Cena, Ziggler, Big Show, Ryback, and Ro and Eric Rowan versus Seth Rollins, Kane, Luke Harper, Mark Henry, and Rusev. Now, if the Authority loses, they're out of power. But on SmackDown, I read a spoiler where. If Team Cena loses, every person's going to be fired. And then it was, no, only uh, everybody but Cena is going to be fired because Triple H thinks Cena is still valuable. Um, I, I don't know, but I just think the authority is going to be out of power. I'm going to go with Team Cena on this one because I just, I, it's going to be weird though if uh, they, if the Cena, Team Cena does win. I mean, the WWE without the authority, man, for the past, like, I don't even know, for such a long time, we've always had the authority. But, um, yeah, it's going to be different seeing them. Probably a surprise GM, like Mick Foley's going to come or something. But, uh, 
yeah, those are my predictions. Please let me know in the comment section what your predictions are, and uh, we'll see if me and you are thinking on the same page. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. Follow me on Twitter, at 7 WWE Rocks. Hopefully Survivor Series is good. It being free, it kind of makes me think it's going to be awesome because they want the free subscribers to the network to re-sign up. So hopefully it just blows us away. I don't know. With five matches, it doesn't look like, like it's going to be that great. But um, thank you for watching, and uh, as always, have a nice day. Thank you, guys.